what's up guys and welcome back to the channel sorry it's been so long but hunting dingo is playing this year guys so we're gonna get into this video we're gonna cook up these white bass and make a good meal out of this All right, guys, so first and foremost, before we get into the cooking of these white bass, um, so hunting did not go as planned this year. This is my first year fully bow hunting all year round, and I got into the mix of just chasing down big bucks and never got one uh, to break daylight or anything. So um, kind of just waited around too long and let time run out and was not able to get my first ever deer with a bow. So... With that being said, next year I will take in consideration and play a little bit smarter and shoot the does, shoot a doe when it does come out just so I can get a deer down with the bow. Now, on to what we all came here for, what you clicked on this video for, and what we're going to cook up for tonight, tonight, these white bass. So, I'm going to insert a picture of the biggest bass that we call today, right now. All right, so guys, I did not record this part today. Me and dad went out and fished like crazy day. Got up at three o'clock this morning, fished like six or seven hours, or four or five hours this morning, and then went back fishing tonight. Just got in from fishing and did not catch a thing. Had a couple little bites, but hey, I don't know what's going on. Uh, the water level's been up and down at the lake. It's crazy, but. Um, I'll have to figure it out. I'll get it figured out and we'll start catching fish. But that's not going to stop us from keep on trying. So let's get this. I've already got this guy flayed out, cleaned out. These two guys or yeah, these guys cleaned out and everything. I just got to flay them off the sides. And we're going to, hmm, how are we going to cook these bad boys? How are we going to cook them? Best way to do it. Fry them up. Let's get started. All righty, guys. So we've got the fillets right here. In that Walmart bags is the uh, body pieces. Didn't already got them all cleaned out and everything, because I know how YouTube is with all that mess. So let's knock out those scales. Make sure your fish fillets does not have scales in it. White bass, crappie, and any real scaly fish is very anonymous uh, for scales and bones. It's one thing I do like about catfish is that. You don't got to worry about scales. But hey, every fish has got its perks. So that's a real nice piece of white bass right there. So these guys were caught at the uh, spillway here um, earlier this morning. We didn't record this part because I just knew I had a feeling that today was going to be a good day to go fishing. Which, I should have looked at the weather a little bit better. But, this week has been high 60s and 65 degree weather. And then today, the weather drops down and the highs is only in the 32, 34 degree rains. Got real cold last night. And then on top of that, tonight, there's a rain moving in. A storm moving in. And gonna mess it all up even more so we'll get that fishing figured out though um as you've got seen for a lot of you uh follow my uh used to follow me on my other channel kentucky catfishing you know we'll got we'll get them figured out eventually take some time and there's our little flakes So, with that being said, we've got our pieces of fillets. We're going to flay them whole. I'm going to clean these guys off just like that so you guys can see it. We caught two of them, two bigger pieces, and then the two smaller fish, right there. Or the smaller fish, the bigger fish. So, we're going to go ahead and get these guys soaking in some salt water, put them in a little bit of batter, and fry them up for you guys 
So let's go ahead and get this mix started. All right, guys. So for our mixture, gonna put some cornmeal. Won't need that much. Just got four little fillets. Gonna do a little bit of the old Everglaze original. A little bit more. There we go. Yep. And Everglaze heat. Just me eating it, so I'm gonna spice it up a little bit. And then we also have just an egg batter. So it's gonna go eggs, seasoning, grease. All right, guys, so we get the grease ready, get everything ready to go, start firing up, uh, firing up the oven, and start getting ready to cook this awesome fish. Sweet, easy, simple recipe, and it's always going to make this will work for any fish you catch mostly. So go ahead and try it out for yourself. But we're going to fire this up and we'll show you the finished products. Uh, grease is getting ready to go, so we're going to go ahead and get ready to put this fish in. Let's hop on over. All right, boys. So when you see bubbles, you know it's time to eat or time to cook. All right, we're gonna coat that in there real good. Bam, there we go. So now we're cooking with peanut Crisco, baby. Well, vegetable oil. Didn't have no olive oil, so next, next thing. And we are cooking, boys. guys and that is finished up and that's hot right there let's grab this piece that just came off first my mouth already starting to water because i know it's going to be good but mm, mm, thing to make that better some noodle tartar sauce all right guys so like thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button like i said a lot of awesome videos is coming up but before we exit up out of here, let's go ahead and say our closing prayers. Dear my Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful day that you blessed us with. Thank you for another beautiful day on your earth that you created for us, God. Thank you for putting these wildlife on here for us to chase after, for us to, for us to allow us to cherish our bodies with, Lord. Thanks for all that you've done for us. Thanks for putting us here on this planet and giving us your only son, to die on the cross and sacrifice for us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. But guys, as always, God bless you. Live life to the fullest, and we will see you in the next one. We are out of here.